It's wonderful to be here. We're so glad to be together. Uh, I just want to briefly mention, as Badvili said, some of the things we've accomplished, the way God has blessed us and really blessed this school, and some of the things we're looking forward to developing into the future. And then we'd like to wrap it up by sharing some insights that I got once I joined the board a couple of years ago. I always knew the school was important and how necessary it was, but actually working with the school on campus, I got a whole new level of insight. And again, I have to say over and over again, God has graced us. Educationally, we're doing really great. Uh, I think you know that schools have to be accredited and by the you know state-sanctioned organizations, it's the law. They came through and when they wrote their report, they said that if every school educated their kids the way Merdinian does, we would not have the kinds of problems we have in California schools today. They don't say things like that. This is a very tough group. When I worked in Sacramento and worked on education policy, I had to work with them, so I kind of know them a little bit. They're not generous with their compliments, so that's a remarkable compliment to the school. We've gotten letters from high school principals telling us your kids are really well adjusted. They're excelling in all their classes. Please send us more of your kids. We have these letters. Again, God has really blessed the efforts. But then there's a little more to it. There's the academic, you know, excelling academically, keeping ahead in a very fast-paced, changing environment like technology. Our chair, Dr. Nalbanyan, headed up a new technology committee, and we've upgraded everything, and the kids love it. We're starting uh, with the help of LEGO and the UCLA Dream Fund Robotics Program, and the, the demand is overwhelming. That is attracting people. It's, it's the academic excellence. You know, our motto is pursue excellence. There's new sports programs. We're working on arts programs. We're working on increasing literature programs. Of course, people come to this school because of the Armenian studies. And I've lost count, Parkastizo, of how many parents have said you know, it's so hard to educate our kids about our Armenian heritage and to help them understand why we treasure it so much. And, you know, the media and everything going on, we come to this school and we, our children see adults who not only love their heritage, but who know why it's important and know why it's particularly important on the world stage with the way things are going. And you live it joyfully and it gives our kids confidence they don't have chim 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 board. oh yes i am no 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 it's like yes i am <laughs> and, and so that has attracted people we have armenians in the valley who grew up in hayastan they're not christians and as you know faith was um, rejected and but they're still sending their kids to the school they they're not going to go to a church at this point but they'll send their kids to the school. Something attracts them. Well, then they tell me, you know, one day um, my kids came home from school and said, Mom, Dad, we got to pray before we eat. So they started praying before they eat. Mm -hmm. um, we have one woman who was a physician in Moscow, very bright. And she was an atheist and almost didn't send her children to the school because it was evangelical. And she did anyway because it was Armenian. And she now is an ardent, ardent believer. She can't get her hands on enough reading. I mean, she's just amazing. She has an evangelistic gift. So we have that attracting people. And uh, of course, we have the Christian education, our Bible classes, everything that we do, the morning um, chapel. To just wrap this up and to tie it all together, the thing that, well, let me say we're very, before I wrap it up, we're very blessed because of the uh, many resources and donations that have come our way. Of course, you all know about their young Lord John Hall. We had a Bez John major donation. We're, we're upgrading and remodeling our campus, which we needed. It, that school's been around a while, that building. And we have Sivar Hintlian, who has given uh, substantial gifts for which we are so grateful. And the, the thing that that next level that hit me having served on the board, and I'm honored to be on that board, but very accomplished, dedicated people, uh, and great faculty and, and staff. But because we're attracting people, because we're excelling, people are saying, well, who are those people that are doing this? Who's, who's 
doing it right. What, what is it that they're doing? Then they come and check us out, and they say, oh, it's these Armenian evangelicals. <laughs> and then what happens is they want to know more, and so our unique witness is getting out there. And this school, as you know, I don't want to be preaching to the choir, but we have a very special witness to share. And we're able to provide leadership because of the way we're attracting people. And I think there's a whole horizon out there that we're going to be able to pursue. We're going to be uh, providing leadership not only within the Armenian community, but in a much broader context. And that just takes the witness up to the next step. So we thank God for grace. We thank God for all the gifts. And as Bob Billy said in the sermon, we really want to be fully in the power of the Holy Spirit and just keep going forward. Shad Shanaragayim for everything you've given and, and you're, you're doing and for helping us reach our future goals as well.